but government, government officials in Mexico telling U.S. officials to step up. They want the U.S. to take action against the trafficking of weapons south across the border. Channel 5's Christian Colon has some details of a new agreement they hope will help do just that. Christian? It started with a discussion about immigration. The Mexican Secretary of Foreign Affairs meeting the U.S. Secretary of State. Out of that meeting, a new collaborative plan between the two countries to combat gun smuggling. A representative from the Tamaulipas governor's office is saying it's the first time the crime is getting the attention it warrants. Estefani Velasquez lives in Mexico and crosses the bridge to shop and for school. Criminal justice is her major. At times, the classroom is her neighborhood. I had to move out of my colonia because they would kidnap women. There was always a shooting. It's a bit more calm where I am now. I am used to it. She says the violence has become a norm. All the kids hide. They have to hide. They get scared. My brothers and I, we get scared. We run to a safer place. Tamaulipas officials hope it becomes safe. Luis Rodriguez is the spokesman for the Tamaulipas Governor's Security Cabinet. He tells Channel 5 News this new U.S.-Mexico agreement will hopefully spawn projects to help reduce the violence and lower the number of homicides. He says most of those homicides involve a firearm. De esas 6,000 armas, ¿cuántas son del, vienen de los Estados Unidos? El gobernador del estado hizo recientemente una declaración donde él habla de que 80% de todas las armas que son introducidas de manera ilegal vienen de Estados Unidos. Mexican officials say there are major areas that need attention, including the McAllen, Reynosa, and Brownsville ports of entry. Numbers from the Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives Office show that in 2016, more than 9,000 firearms found in Mexico were U.S. sourced. The types range from shotguns, revolvers, rifles and pistols. That I can feel secure in Mexico. A future Velasquez and the state of Tamaulipas both hope to attain. Channel 5 News reached out to the Customs and Border Protection for comment, but have not heard back yet. An ATF spokesman tells us the Houston Division, which covers the Valley, gets the most firearm trafficking investigations in the country. They add the simplicity of getting a firearm in Texas and the state's close proximity to the border are key factors on why the U.S. guns make their way into Mexico. Live in the studio, Christian Colon, Channel 5 News at 6.